going to show you how to make this headband from anthropology. The very talented Melinda Bernardi made a free pattern of this anthro-inspired braided headband. Okay, this is how you do the magic loop method. We make our slip knot. And then we tighten it around one of our needles. Okay, and you are going to cast on 14 stitches. Oh, there's two, three, four. Now we're going to put all of our stitches in the middle of our circular needle. And then we're going to separate them in half, so two, four, six, seven, just like that. And then we're going to split them up just like this. And then we're putting them back on the needle. Okay, and make sure that the bumps are in the middle. You don't want them twisted like this. Make sure they're all like that. And then see my working yarn? It needs to be pulled back like that, okay? And try to forget about the tail. Okay, I always leave my finger right here so that doesn't get big or change sizes. So. I'm going to pull these stitches off. Until my other needle can kiss this one. Okay? Now I'm going to put this needle through. Like this. I'm going to get my working yarn. And I'm going to knit. Try not to tighten it too much or else you're going to have a hard time putting your stitches on your needle again. That's what happened to me. Okay, there's one. Two. Six and last one. Seven. Okay, now I'm going to flip this around so the needles are facing to the right. And then I'm going to put these other stitches back on their needle. Okay, so we did half of a round. As you can tell, our tail is on the bottom. To do a full circle, it needs to be back on the top. Okay, so make sure that your yarn is in the back. Then I hold on to these again.
and I knit. And it doesn't have to be too tight. Mine's getting pretty tight. Because then it gets really hard to manage it. To take them off and on. Six. And last one. Okay, flip it back over so it's pointing to the right. Put my yarn on the back. Okay, now slide these stitches on your needle. All right, and we know that we finished our whole circle because our tail is back in the front. Okay, and you keep doing this until you have 72 inches. I'll do it one more round. bit. Okay, you keep doing this until you have 72 inches. I promise it'll be worth it. It will start to look like this. Now that we're ready to bind off, you need to make sure that you made a complete circle at the end. So that means that your tail will be on the top right hand corner. If it's not on the top right hand corner, it will be on this side right here. So it will be flipped over right here. And that means that you only did half of the circle, so you need to finish one more side. Now let's bind off. Knit two. One. Two. Okay, now on this side of the needle, we take the first one that we knit. 
We pull it over the second one. Okay, now we only have one on here. So let's knit one. Now we'll do the same thing. Knit again. Pull the first one over. Slide it off. Okay, so we are left with one on that side. And we flip it over. Now let's push this back on the needle. Oh, that's really tight. Okay, we only have one on this needle, right? So all that we do, we keep that one on there, okay? Just like that. And then we knit. Just knit one, and then pull this one over. one all right so you should have a circle like this pull some of this yarn out and then you snip and then you pull the remainder out And now you're done! Okay, the next step you need to divide the piece into thirds and you mark them with safety pins. So since mine was around 72 inches, I just measured 12 inches and I put a pin right here. And then I put a pin right here. So there's one, two, three. Now you need to make a circle that fits around your head loosely. Basically it's just the first one. So you just put it where your first safety pin is. So take out your safety pin. Or if you want to be exact, I would just get another safety pin and put it where that safety pin is. I'll just take that one out. Okay. 
Now that we have our first circle, what we're going to do is with the second section of the head wrap, we're just going to wrap it around the first one. So with this pin right here, make sure that it ends where the first pin on the first loop is. So it's going to be a little bit tighter, but it'll work. And I'm going to pin it there. so it stays in place. Okay, so you just need six safety pins and you're going to crisscross the two sections in six different places, okay? So we have our sixth one right here, right? So I'm just going to start, see where the first one starts? Just right there, I'll crisscross them and pin it so it stays. Okay. And then now I'm just gonna go back down. And pin them together. Oh, I don't think I got it here. Okay, there's two. And make sure this second loop is never going to go inside of the first loop. It's just going to go on the outside. Okay. I'm going to crisscross again, pin it there, three, and we're going to go back down, Let's go back up. See? And then that's where our sixth one is, okay? And that worked out pretty good. But with the sixth one, I'm going to make sure it's a little more crisscross. Okay, so it should look something like this. Now with our last section, which is right here, we want it to keep going the same way. We're not going to go the opposite way. Okay, you're going to feed it, go underneath the first section, go through section one and two. Make sure that there's no twists. See, like that. Okay? And then we just keep doing that. I'm gonna go over to the left of the section two, okay? And now I go underneath Again, go through section one and two. See, and it looks like a braid. And then you're gonna go down and go through again. Go over and go through. Now if you run out of your third section, I would 
start over with your third section and just pull it a little bit tighter. Don't make it as loose. Alright, so this is what mine looks like. Now what we do is you need to weave the two ends together. Alright, to weave the ends, you see on our first piece, the safety pin is still on there. It's kind of in the way. So I'm going to take it out. Alright, and then you need a tapestry needle. And get one end of your tail. And put it through. Okay, now grab your other end. And then, I don't know if you can see, I don't know, I don't know if there's the best way to do this, but this is how I'm doing it. So I went through the second one, and I'm just going to go back through, doesn't matter where. And I'm just going to go through both sides of the tube. Okay. It doesn't have to look pretty because nobody's going to see it. Make a knot. Okay, and cut it. And I'd cut the other tail off too, so it's just not in the way. Make sure it stays behind there. And now we can take out our safety pins. Okay, let's try it on. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.